Hi and welcome to the shop. Today we're going to recap on a video that I did a couple days ago um, <clears throat> where I um, tried to save my ram from having a fire. So I redid the... Mm -hmm. uh, I redid the insulation back there and um, this is a story about how it came back to bite me. That isn't exactly what came back to bite me. And as you can tell, I have it all torn apart in there. And the reason for this is because after I got the truck done and I backed it out of the shop and everything was, seemed like it was going good because I was working on some other things at the same time. I was working on the radio. I was working on um, a few things, just tidying up electrical in the truck. And what I found out was as I was backing the truck out of the garage, I no longer had lights on the passenger side. So the whole right side, the, uh, the, the, and the marking lights over the cab stopped working. So I sat back in there trying to find it. Turns out it was blowing a fuse in the totally integrated power module under the hood. <clears throat> and so as I was starting to chase that down, I was trying to find out what was going on, why, Every time I put a fuse in here, it blows right out immediately. And um, here, why don't I show you? I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll show you what I found. Okay. So this right here is a totally integrated power module. And this fuse right here is a 15 amp fuse. It is um, number uh, Park Lamps RT. And what this fuse does is it will okay come on yep there we go it will handle the parking lamps for the driver's side and the passengers or the passenger side front and passenger side rear and it was blowing every time so i ended up putting a test lead in there and i couldn't figure it out well <clears throat> turns out it was i thought maybe i had it had melted in there and when I put it and cramped it all back to the firewall, that it had um, been an issue. But it wasn't because um, I ended up fighting with it for a while and testing it and everything else. And I could not find where it was shorted out. And what I found was <clears throat> the circuit is right here. It is for, um, this is for the, the lamp here. Uh, let's see here. It's a white with a gray stripe. And it comes back and then they tie the... Um, the overhead clearance lamps on here so that is um oh gosh i can't even read it eight dash something something which is basically the clearance lamps and the clearance lamps are listed right here on the the circuit for the right hand side but the one thing that they don't really explain is why there is a center lamp white light bezel all right so now we have established that that fuse <clears throat> holds the right side of the truck driving lamps or not driving lamps um, running lamps um, so when you turn the lights on just one click it turns on these lamps that the rear of the truck um, and the clearance lamps up there. And then the only other thing that seems to be on that circuit, and this is what came back to bite me in here, is up underneath there here, there's a little lamp. And when I was doing the radio, I found this lamp, this bulb was blown out. So I ordered a cheap LED one off of Amazon and I put it in there. And lo and behold, that was what was causing the problem. So, 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 if you find yourself working on your Dodge and you keep blowing the right, right hand marking light fuse number, hold on, what's this fuse number? 15, 16, fuse number 16. If you keep blowing the 
fuse number 16 in your 2007 Dodge Ram, check underneath the dash there because it could possibly be that um, somebody put an LED lamp in there. And it, and even though that's a symptom of some, if you look online, the forums and stuff, they'll tell you that your totally integrated power module has gone bad or that you have a short and you go chase that thing around. I lost about six hours of this and I got everything all torn apart. I got the, as you can tell, I've got the totally integrated power module out on the dash here or on the table. Um, but <clears throat> I finally found it and it was that lamp. Um, and just to put it into perspective, this is the um, LED bulb that I put into the spot, but it looks like it is, um, if you look there, it somehow is connecting the left and the rights there in such a way that the incandescent version of this doesn't do that. So as soon as I plug this into that little spot, it started blowing that fuse. And I had no idea that it was on that circuit um, until I ended up buying or ended up getting the diagram of the truck. And I'm sitting here trying to chase down ways to isolate that circuit so that I could find the ground so that I could find out where, where I had possibly done it. And the real reason, the biggest reason why I got that was to find out what the color wire was. So when I'm chasing it in this loom back here, over there, um, I was trying to figure out what, where, what wire I was looking for as I was going through and trying to figure out where it might have gotten accidentally cut or, you know, rubbed off on something. Um, but the more that I looked, the more that I looked, the more that I looked, I could not fi figure out any possible place where I had, where that had gotten rubbed off or worn or something. Um, so it ended up being <laughs> that, uh, that it wasn't even outside of here. It wasn't related to the exterior lighting of the truck. It was inside in the dash up by the shifter. And it was this little piece of crap. So, well, <clears throat> that's a little short video to show you about how you can waste time in the shop on your own fault. So, thanks for stopping out. I hope this was um, useful. Use of your time? Yeah, well. Anyway, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, random stuff that I find and do in my shop and maybe inflict wounds on myself, like and subscribe. Thanks for stopping out. We'll see you on the next one.